Hello everyone, this is Yuzu here. Welcome back to my LP of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, we left um, Hato and got here to Galopolis City. Or just Galopolis, it's just it's top left. And this episode, um, let me do something really quick over here because I wanted to save this for the recording. But anyway, in this episode we're going to go to the palace uh, here in Galopolis and um, see if we can find uh, that thing that Noah was talking about. Uh, sure. Oh, oh god. <laughs> she wants me to follow her. Yeah, that's not sketchy at all. Nope, not so, not, nothing, not whatsoever. Anyway, I just came here to get the items. I think that's the only thing in here. Uh, 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 sketchy. This is very sketchy. Oh, I actually left my friends. Oh my god. And everything's pink in here. Uh, what I got myself into. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Great. Who's talking? <laughs> Why are there two people talking? That doesn't sound right. There! Oh. I'm surprised I could turn the camera there. I didn't know I could do that. Anyway, let's get out of here. This is very sketchy. I also like how they were waiting outside. Uh, they even knew what I was doing. What the crap? Okay. Anyway, like I was saying before, next episode we're gonna go see the pal the Sultan at the palace. I already got all the items off screen because I said I was gonna do that beforehand. And oh, this guy's important for later, but I don't want to talk to him right now. I think I even went inside the palace and, um, got all the items there. There's so many kitties. I wonder if it's a cat person. Probably. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just there's a ton of cats and you don't need to be a crazy cat person. Okay. That's cool. This to place, them, I guess. <clears throat> Fellow Galopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... You, no, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Amy. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh. Father, my training is complete. Stare down. <laughs> The pledge. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Hmm, I don't really have much to say here. 
Set oh. maybe later. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. <laughs> you said what I said. Uh. <laughs> what? Okay. <clears throat> what is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Do I even want to say that? Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. Oh, so you know about it? Okay, good. So this is the trouble. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. Oh, well, that's nice. The so won't talk to us. Surely his son will. Anyway, there's actually items up here that I couldn't get because of cussing reasons. I, I have to get now. <laughs> As my OCD demands it. There's something over here as well. I think? No. Waste of time. But there is something out here I can get. On the other side. <laughs> Whoops. So I shouldn't have gone to the other side there. Don't want waste, to don't waste too much time. Anyway, let's go see what this... Prince Ferris has to say to us. Surely it must be something about the rainbow. That's what the branch is called. There you go. As you see, yeah, I, I already got the items in here, sorry. I think that just had an iron sword in it. Ah, you came. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. Well, he is, he is right. I, I, I do ride them. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. Hmm. However... He might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> oh. hmm. But the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me then? Not that I could say no here, but yes, I'll join. Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Usually if you pick no in Dragon Quest games, it's but thou must situations. Because that's where that phrase comes from. The, the original Dragon Quest. But yeah, let's actually just go to the end and rest. Do I actually need to rest? No, but I, I'm going to do it anyway. This time will pass. And uh, that's the easiest way to do it, is just spend money to the end to make time pass. I could just go to a campsite, but eh, this is faster. Or would it be? I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it would be because the loading screens are so slow. <laughs> At least for me. I was actually going to cut that cut that out, but oh well. I keep forgetting to do that. Anyway, let's go to the end and... Um, you know, rest up for the evening. Oh yeah, you can actually go down this well since there's no cover over it, and uh, you can find idols down there. Oh yeah, just making sure you all got you guys knew that. Anyway, oh 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 oh. Let's show something. I actually found this on a second playthrough, just recently. Oh, well, screw you too. I'm just gonna show something cool. I guess I can't go in there now because I missed my chance. You know, I found it earlier. Okay. Let's uh, rest until. Rest a while until. Night. There we go. Waste my money, but whatever. Faster way than just zooming to a cat spot, which you can do. I, said, I don't think I've shown that off yet. Like, you can zoom to towns and campsites, which is really handy. Yes, yeah, let's go inside. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Huh? Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the great Sylvando! Balls in the air. <sighs> Surprise, they're nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a bad idea. <gasps> and they're gone. Ladies and gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> nice. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. <laughs> now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. I can figure that. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny terrible problem. Well, if it's teeny tiny and terrible, then it's not teeny tiny. Okay, what is it? I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. What? What? How? What? I have so far been able to hide this. Unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. Then practice? And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! <sighs> So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Oh, well, that's smart. No, surely no one will figure that out. How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also. For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view. Wasn't that convenient? Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. I mean, sure, whatever. You! are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Oh, come on. Huh. It's the plot. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Pfft. I agree, what but... You will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? I still like how I can say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. 
Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends! <laughs> Bye, bears. Hmm. Well, that's sketchy. Oliver and company. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. Uh, Oliver and company spent the night in the rooms Prince Ferris arranged for them. Then morning comes. I, I thought I pressed the button. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. Good morning, blah 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 blah. Yeah, I know where it is, don't worry. I played this already. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually safe for a second. Because, uh, reasons. I will um, make this a little bit longer than usual. Because um, the race is a thing, and I want to get through that as soon as I can. Because. Just to do it. Anyway, here's where we need to go. Pretty sure, yeah. Thank the stars. I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try and ride a horse. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm ready. I saved my game. <laughs> That's proof enough that I'm ready. Oliver takes the prince's armors and helps and put puts them on. Man, I can't read. Okay. No, well, this is very convenient that it's just all armor. Hope you can read that fast, I'm sorry. I really don't feel like reading every single piece of dialogue because it, you know, where is that my voice? I read some of it, but not all of it. Anyway. Here's our horse. I don't I didn't mean to gallop, I just meant to swing forward. So used to pressing the run button, which is also the gallop button. I like how everybody's greeting me. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Galopolitans! This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national! Oh, he's just gonna stage right, isn't he? Hooray! All the hell, Prince Varys! Oh, look at those JPEGs. That's what it looks like to me. They're not 3D models. I meant for the trumpets, not for the people in the background. Prince Varys! <laughs> oh, look, Latin's even written for me. Nice. I swear, that looks like a lad. Oh, such a fine figure of a man! And the clothes. Not so much the face. <laughs> it must be wonderful to be so popular, darling! But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? No, wait, what, what, what? Oh. Well, I'm very fan of this horse. The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. Well, good. <laughs> but don't good think I'll be here. going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! This horse is more fabulous than mine, isn't that something? Not that it's a bad thing, it's just, it's just very flashy. And noticeable. Okay. Let's see, this is how you race. It's initial D horse style. 
Do, 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 do. Three, two, one. Drift. I don't want to go too fast. Actually, no, I will have to No. Nope. Don't expect me to win this. Because, um, I won't. There's stamina, um, stuff on the track. Oh, no, no, keep going. Don't miss it, or else you just fail a little bit harder. Oh. There you go. You see why I could fail. It's okay if you do fail this. Because, um. Because, um. Well, I'm concentrating here, but you know what I mean. Oh, at least don't let them, don't let me get third. I usually at least get second on this, so you know, that's a thing. I keep forgetting that the, the, the square button does stuff. I'm sorry. Sorry, right, this is cringeworthy. But I just, you know. Okay, at least I got second. Hopefully. There you go. Well, that's up. At least it's second. It's fine. The game actually doesn't really doesn't really matter for that. If you do get first or not. I think you, I don't even know if you get anything out of it. You probably do, but I don't know what it is. Cause I never won it. At least not yet. You are most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> Did you be walking around puppet like that? Now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. But didn't you say you didn't know how to ride a horse? Oh well. Not my problem. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Well, at least he's honest that, you know, he's going to keep his promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Yay. Enough about that, though. Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Don't speak too early now. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> yep. Spoke too soon. All hail, Prince Faris. Pride of the desert. Horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you were fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Oh. Whoops. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> oh, this is too, too good. <laughs> wait, wait. But you do not understand the pressure I am under. A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom. Well, you just blab that out yourself. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people. And now all can be forgotten. Yes? Ha ha ha, no. And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I think that's a common thing to... A thousand pardons, <laughs> your highness. <gasps> oh, well, thanks for pushing me. Enter. I scratched myself. If you heard that, sorry. 
The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Yay. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. Okay. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> Well, he certainly is a character, isn't he? And I got Outstand In. Great. Great pun. 100% great pun. <laughs> okay. I would end the episode here, but I actually want to end it in a minute. As soon as I go back to the Sultan and or the Prince Ferris and uh, See if we can actually get the rainbow. I know it'll be just a little bit longer episode, but it's only a one cutscene, so it'll be fun. Or should it be two cutscenes, <laughs> but it'll, it'll be fine. Just a little bit longer. Not really much is cut being cut out of this episode, so oh well. Except loading screens. But that, that's a given. Let's go see the prince. humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Are you sure about that? Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Only half of it. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Golopolis in search of the rainbow. Uh oh. Your Majesty. So it must be up. The beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. Uh oh. What? What? The Slayer of the Sands is back. Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? Sounds like a problem. We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. I can see where this is going a mile away. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become! Yep. What? But... But... Oh, father! <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and... perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. So it's like you dig yourself into a hole here, didn't you? <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> uh-huh. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very... Very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Uh huh. I bet his nerves are a wreck right now. Anyway, let's go see what he wants us to do about this. Because obviously he wants us to go fight it. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh please! 
Please, I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. Very desperate soul. <laughs> Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it is not my fault! I am an only child! I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements! Well, he's got a point there. Most royalty doesn't know how to... Well, actually... Well, I'm sure most of them do know how to fight, but you know what I mean. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. So you lied. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew. And now, finally, they expect the impossible. Oh, oh, oh it's so unfair. You know, I would say this is like a bad thing, but I see worse prince or worse princes in the Dragon Quest series. I'm, I'm thinking about one from eight, and okay, never mind. That's a spoiler. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> You're my old friend? Okay, ah, sure. I don't want oh, you to die. Thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. Yay. More workarounds. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. Whoa. No shame. Oh well. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Well, you might change his ways, you never know. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. I mean, she's not wrong there. Both of them are right. When people expect so much out of you, sometimes it's just hard to make meet the expectations so you just have to make do with what you do. Anyway, now that that is out of the way, I think I'm going to end off the episode here as soon as I get back to the church and save. I actually just noticed I'm recording in mono instead of stereo in my commentary. Oh, I hope that doesn't come to bite me back in the butt when I hit the recording. I'm actually using something new to record the commentary with the new program. NH NCH software is free. I'd rather it be free than paid than what I was doing with Audition. Anyway. Even though Audition was good for what it was. And I really don't need to pay for it anymore because I'm broke. Anyway, that's enough about that. I'm going to save my game and end the episode off here. So, in the next episode of Dragon Quest XI, we will go defeat the Slayer of Sands. Slayer of the Sands. And, um, you know proceed on with our request here. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Drone Quest 11. I keep jumping there. <laughs> Bye for now.